What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Jordan, if you guys are new here, and this is the Good Life Outdoorsman channel. And uh, today I'm just out here fishing by myself on a boat, local city lake, um, just kind of scouting. All the lakes around here are really flooded, and this is the cleanest water I've seen like all year. But, I don't know, I'm going to try and uh, maybe throw a crankbait around if I can, if the rocks aren't too mossy. Um, I'm gonna drag a Texas rig and then I got a shaky head tied on also have a frog for when it gets a little later I'm gonna get up in the shallows and try to throw a frog, but yeah, I Back in Nebraska, so just trying to do some fish and haven't done a lot of fishing since I've gotten back I've been back for a few days now and haven't done a lot of fishing so Let's uh, let's catch some bass <laughs> this super tall grass well I'm in the thick of it right now I'm in two feet but this ranges from four two to seven foot and uh, I just flipped in like a little patch of that where it's bare and uh, a bass came out and hit it so I think I'm gonna float around in here for a little bit and do this for just a tad bit just see if this is I mean right now one was just luck maybe if I get a couple more might be a pattern that I could use but as of now it's just kind of plain old luck but I flipped in and had one hit it I wish the Sun was out a little more that way I could actually see these little pockets because right now I can only see about this grass about 10 feet out in front of me. It's not really the best, the water clarity is perfect, but it's just I don't have the sunlight and it's overcast right now. I could probably throw like a frog in here, kind of see. Uh, it's just hard because I don't see these little pockets till I'm up on them and then I probably have spooked the fish by then, to be honest. But the one at eight, he was, I was just jigging it like a rod's length away. So that was pretty cool. That was the first bass of the evening, but I just got started about a half hour ago, kind of messed around with the crank, tied some stuff on, and then I just started flipping this grass. I, I did have one on the outskirts of this grass that came off. He was a little small one, but I'm just flipping a six cents prawn on a quarter ounce Wu Tungsten 316s Wu Tungsten jig or tungsten um, I think this color is called grass candy it actually looks really good in the water wow here he's still on a 10 inch um, here we go this is what I want a nice open patch like that is what I really want healthy one Definitely a school fry. Like these, 
these bass have definitely if not all of them they definitely have spawned here there's a big there's a big bass right there i just scared there's a good sign of um bass have already spawned in this lake usually uh i'm a big seaman user so this is i just wanted to try this color out there we go there we go another one instant instant oh it's a bass this is probably one of the clearest lakes that we actually have right now too just because we had a ton of rain and uh it muddied up just about every lake in 30 mile radius where I live. There we go. Come on, get out of there. There we go. That's another nice one. Yes. Hell yes. Look at that one. That one's gorgeous. That prawn right there. Hit that on the fall. It's another nice fish. There we go. Right back into the water. That's so sweet. He soaked me. I think this uh, plastic is shot though. I want to see how far I can make one plastic last. I'm a huge Z-Man, like I said, huge Z-Man user, and uh, obviously a Z-Man bait wouldn't rip yet. So I just want to see how long I can get make this last before it is completely unusable. Oh, that's awesome. I just seen another pocket, cast it up in it, thumped it right away. There's another big pocket right here. Come on, you whore. Had one running with it there. even like little indentions where it's not just a straight line it kind of cuts in that that can be a really good spot as well oh he's still on there come on oh he came off damn it I waited too long on him. <sighs> he thumped it as soon as it hit the water. Swam into the grass with it. Gosh dang it. This plastic. I'm gonna have to grab a new one. Shoot! Oh, this is fun though. I, often, very not often, do I get to do something like a uh, flipping grass bite here in Nebraska like this this is this is cool I almost didn't even come out fishing today so which I mean that's just that's just plain stupid right there if you, if you ask me there we go there we go that's what I'm talking about. Mm. He's got like some herpes, and you've definitely been spawning there, son. Not a giant, but he's got 
little spot on his lip. Maybe he's been caught before. Just drifting through, looking in these little spots. I wish you guys could see as good as I can. Might have a couple more goes with this plastic. I am throwing, honestly this probably isn't the right setup, but I am throwing 12 pound line, um, the brand LYN, fluorocarbon, on a favorite white bird, 7.2, medium heavy. Um, this is my Texas rig rod, I guess it's my flipping rod. Um, it's the only heavy version that you can get in the white bird series. I don't think they make like a 7.4 heavy or anything, but honestly, I love this rod. It's it's ripping these fish out of this grass, no problem. And this isn't like, it's pretty thick stuff. I don't know how I did not see that hole right there. This, yeah, the sun would definitely help with this. Here it is, Prawn 6 cents Fishing Products. It's a 4.2 inch grass candy. Comes in a nice little container. I mean, they look good. Might as well use them. I get them. The sun's hopped out for a brief second. I can kind of see some more pockets, I suppose. And that sun really makes that uh, green on that prawn just pop. It's so awesome. I thought about throwing on a bigger tungsten, but then I thought it's been working. It's getting down fast enough. It's been working. It's not a super windy day. Um, I'm tossing, I'm not flipping into the thick grass more, more so. I'm kind of just flipping into the openings which I don't really need something super heavy to flip into these openings. It's, you know, it's a, it's more of a gradual just fall. And I don't, I don't really need anything super heavy to get down an opening, I suppose. So I'm going to keep, keep what I'm, keep doing what I'm doing. It's obviously working. So don't, don't change. Don't fix, don't fix what ain't broke. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I am pegging this. That is something I am doing. That's probably helping. Um, I don't know if an unpegged, <laughs> there's literally a bluegill just sitting on top of the water, like it's sitting on top of that grass. That's awesome. Um, unpegged, I don't think would work as well. Um, this allows that tungsten not to slide up and down on the reel or the line and for it to guide that craw just straight down basically what I'm saying. Um, one thing I'm trying to flip on the other end of the pocket that I see so that it fall when it does fall it falls directly into either on the edge or the center and that way I can cover that whole pocket instead of just trying to flip straight in the middle of the pocket and it coming over to the edge I suppose what I'm trying to say hopefully I'm explaining this well enough um, so if you ever catch your there we go oh snapperoonies he just kind of picked it up um, hopefully if you ever catch yourself in a situation where you're flipping some grass, this kind of helps you out. I am by no means a damn expert. This is like my first time doing this. <laughs> and, uh, just kind of happened to find a pattern and I'm having a blast. That's all that really matters, right? Have fun out here fishing. It's a Wednesday. Just out here having a good time. By myself. Self-quarantine, I suppose.
but there ain't no better place to quarantine than out on the lake.